That was the last time we uh, we stepped on a snack, and we got bro two. Funnily enough, our only two bros are women. But that's just how progressive this game is. <laughs> Enthralling conversation. Oh, she's still reeling from... Oh, yeah, uh, Luna figured out that Geo's Mega Man. And then she got all tsundere about it. <laughs> Let's see. Talking about how in the battle or four vid, I said I didn't want to do the patch, and isn't aren't I doing a patch for DX? Uh, yes. However, uh, the patch is just for like stream purposes. Like, I won't be including any of the patch content in the review, like the extra battles or the the star shard things, or the fact that the game. Trust me, I'm not going to allow them to get away with making three versions of the fucking game. <laughs> That I'm absolutely going to rail on that. Don't uh, don't worry. The the patch is for stream purposes. It's the same thing we did with six. Like obviously I'm not going to review the game uh, as if Cobb Soul and Mega Dab are real. Uh, thank you for the follow. Oh, this is probably safe. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. By the time I get to the Star Force review, I'm probably gonna have to play Star Force again on my own. Because that's quite some time from now. Am I winning? Well, I'm hanging out with Luna, so. No. Now that now they're like BFFs. He asked to come to Times Square. Problem he didn't say when. He just keeps circling around to the same thing. <laughs> Jeez, I'm disappointed he never thinks outside the box. <laughs> Shapes, that's where we're at. Times Square. Times Square.
okay, the the woman in like the blue skirt and boots over there, like I think she's just supposed to be standing weird, but it looks like she's like hovering. Like anime villain style. <laughs> I'm sorry, John, but to be in peak pun form, you have to be in shape. <laughs> yes, that was all set up for this one joke. J shaped. Oh, well, I'm glad those guys are staying positive. Bet you didn't expect Dr. Regal to be the antagonist for this scenario. Oh shit, he's still here. We spin. Alright. The most PG-13 street argument. <laughs> <laughs> we've ever seen. I don't give a hoot about you. It's a Canadian argument. Oh, what the fuck? Hold on. Some voyeurses, you say? <laughs> You just keep you keep on keeping on, jammer guy. Eloy fucking voyeurs, you what? above them. <laughs> Maybe a cutscene triggers when I get close. Nice pun. Glad to see you are not so negative on them. Now time to charge forward with the plot. Careful John the first think I see sparks flying in that fight. Now that's enough puns for now before I make heads hurts and get grounded. You'll be fucking grounded alright. <laughs> Jeez, five star frags. Yeah, cutscene. There's a magical uh, fade to black barrier here. We just start a pun tax. The pun tax is 50 bits. <laughs> Oh no, 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 fucking no. It says it's fine on my end. The stream is, it's not. Also, that guy does speak weird in Japanese too. He has a punk accent, hence the weird spelling of viruses. Yeah, yeah fingers differences. That makes sense, okay. Okay, it looks like it's fine now. Jesus Christ, yeah, frames, don't leave me. Oh no. I this better not be going where I think it is. Positives and negatives and all that. Ooh. 
Mega Man Star Force. Yeah, good question. <laughs> what should we do? I'm not even really sure what's going on. Where's the insane clown posse when you need him? So people thinking I don't pay taxes for these puns look at my bit total. I'm the reason John is going to have come up with an insane bit badge that will not get used except for me and my puns. I do have um I do have some bit badges and uh sub badges designed now. I have to uh, I have to submit them. I don't know if that takes time. Like I don't, I haven't done that before. I don't know how the process works, but I do have them. Good guy truck hates to see violence. <laughs> they usually go through fast, as in they just take a bit or fifty. And they sent just a guy. <laughs> Can Geo Stellar defeat a single jammer? Let's find out. Oh, that's why it wasn't locking on. Uh, I mean, oh, whew. I didn't think we we're going to make it through that one, guys. All the real reverses be jammers. I mean, to be you. fair, John, if it wasn't for magic alien powers, he could just hold out his hand and defeat you. Also, he clearly wishes to defeat you in a battle of words. <laughs> Rap battle. I mean, look at his name, John. He is hip with the crowd. I mean, after all, he is jamming. <laughs> I got a feeling we're not going home. Geo Stellar, I can see you standing near the rover statue.
There's a joke about Star Wars in here somewhere. Leave me alone! Oh, it's... <laughs> it's from the, the Space Furries. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, is this in DX how you get access to all three, uh... Of the forms. All right. Yeah, that's a weird place to put that. I mean, I'm not going to argue about it. Not like I know how to edit cutscenes into a game, but it seems like a weird place for them to put it. Hey, completely innocent character. Like, you'd be suspicious of Pat regardless, but I think it's a little... They showed their hand a little too early by having him beat someone up in a, like, in a dark street. Holy bejesus! Fallen Angel resubbin themselves <laughs> and ten gift subs. Holy crap, thank you. And now also YZ Nexus is resubbing. <laughs> thank you as well. Pat walked in and brought the subs with him. You should have been suspicious of Pat since the Libra Scales event when he wasn't being affected by the study wave. Yeah, it's, 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 we've talked about it a million times since Battle Network. It is too obvious when a character is important. I, like, they should throw you off, like, just one time by making, like, a couple, just, like, two or three completely unique NPCs that don't do anything. Hey, look, I spent seven dollars again. Monet. <laughs> the snake professor was unimportant, but the snake professor was also like a meme. Like he was, he was like a reference to the the, the weird bug guy, the, the spider dude. At least that's how I interpreted it. I see people joking that Zach is a unique NPC that doesn't do anything. I complete. I gen. You guys were saying Zach, and I genuinely had to stop. Like, who is? Who are they talking about? What? Ca what character am I forgetting? Tab and Mick. Oh, yeah, guys. <laughs> I see Miss Mari, Tab, Mick, Zach. Like, guys, I was... I, I, I was kind of posing a serious thing. It wasn't time to dunk on everyone's least favorite Battle Network characters. Hydrate. Uh, I okay, so like I this is supposed to be serious time, I guess, but I can't <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't take it seriously when literally every single person has shitty and or dead parents. I I just can't. 
Like, it has reached a point where it's funny. <laughs> like, come on now. And I know that's a terrible thing for me to say. Pat with no fucking parents. Hey, Geo, remember your dead dad? It has been a while. That's, um... <laughs> I was gonna bring up, that's probably why Geo's been smiling more lately. It's been a couple episodes since every single person in town remind him that his dad was dead. Can a sad boy and a sad boy fall in love? Snake, do you think love can bloom on the battlefield? Uh, Pat's a boy. He's a very fabulous boy. Oh god. Oh, hold on. They might actually be about to fuck. Hold up. gonna take a bus to Dream Island? <laughs> okay. Oh, I have to do the admin thing. That's what he means by I have something to do first. This- okay, so like that further solidifies this is a really weird spot to put this. Like, I'm glad they added it, but... Dream Island sounds straight out of Pokemon. Yeah, it sounds like something you have to go to an event. <laughs> you need an Eon ticket to get there. There's not going to be time after this. If I see people saying uh, it's going to be really story heavy and stuff. What? Oh, I have to. <sighs> All right. Why can't I never just go to the fucking roof? Why not just put a frickin' wave hole up on the roof if I have to go up there constantly? I guess now's a good time for me to point out, because you might have noticed my disgruntlement with them throughout the course of the game. Uh, I think this wave road over the real world aesthetic thing is, is I think it's really boring. <laughs> I much prefer the, the internet-based dungeons with unique backgrounds. I, I don't like that most of the game takes place in the regular world, but there's orange roads floating above it. I do, I do think it's a little boring. Seeing some people say that in later games they, they do the wave road a little differently. We'll see, we'll get there eventually. Yeah, it's just like an over and it's like random overlays. Like I don't I get lost plenty in the actual Battle Network games. You guys have seen me stream, you know. But like I get lost on every single wave road because they are so random and indistinct from each other that I just cannot memorize them. <laughs> G 
John, check the bottom screen for the map. Yeah, that's uh, that's a little weird. That there isn't one. All right. Hey, we managed to cross a boss tile without a random encounter. Imagine that. <laughs> Time to rock the dragon. get his am I dumb like I don't get his catchphrase I know I complained about in the last stream too like wave battle sure but like what right on what is what does that have to do with anything <laughs> riding the wave but I'm not doing that <laughs> I could, everyone consistently walks on it. <laughs> oh, that's like a counter, it looks like. Oh, he swoops along, okay. Well, so much for that. <laughs> radio jockey term and so they thought in the year like 2200 in a children's DS game they were like yeah this is a term we could use they'll probably get it what chapter are we on uh the sixth one where we're almost at the end we're almost to the last chapter. Is the stream lagging again? For fuck's sake. Watch it, my internet finally gets fixed and now it's fucking a Twitch problem. <laughs> That's my luck. Omniblade, thanks for the resub. Why'd I pick Pegasus over Leo or Dragon? Because blue. That's pretty much it. God, now I'm a brony and I'm a scaly. I've almost got the whole collection. already a finny thanks to the the kingdom hearts streams so i've almost collected all four
ah, that's right. Someone was pouring their heart out to me, and then I left to go fight Shenron on a rooftop somewhere. You become the Avatar when you get all four. Master of all four for affinity categories. Uh, you didn't miss that much. We figured out how magnets work. Uh, and we talked to Pat. That's pretty much it. Oh, shit. Hold on. My video player crashed as well on my end. Okay, yeah, that, so I think it's a Twitch problem then. Uh, here we go. I, um... Fuck. So, Dragon Form is kinda weird. It still has status guard like in the original, which was the only star force with an ability. But now it also can heal when guarding and guard cancel to do an auto charge chop. It's... okay, I guess. Yeah, we're gonna check it out in a minute. I'm uh, sorry, I'm just dealing with this. Cause this this does mean it is probably Twitch. It's probably not my internet. If a whole bunch of people's players crashed at the same time, including mine. Fucking Twitch. Nothing the universe doesn't want me to stream Star Force. Fire, wood, elect. Way. Long ago the four types lived in harmony. Then everything changed when the FMEans attacked only the Mega Man Master of the Battle Cards could stop them. But when the world needed him most, he disconnected from Twit. <laughs> Sick lore. My on off the power up is turned on. Oh, it's you to turn it off, okay. So, do I have to like get in a battle or something before it lets me try the the dragon thing, or do I have to switch to it manually in it's battle? It's like turning on off your style in BN3. Go to Dream Island. Whatever that means. I refuse to believe that's not a euphemism. Also know you use a friend card to turn into the other forms. Okay. You have to switch your default Star Force in the post game. Okay. You have to use the Star Force card or Luna's brother card. Got it. This is a new for people who don't know. This is a new feature entirely to the to the DX version. Um. Here, resub for shitty network. Thank you, Shadow Phoenix. Um, this looks like some kind of fucking military installation or something. What the hell is this? This is my dream island. A giant gated offer area and uh, a secondhand fridge store. Living the dream.
Okay, so I thought it was... It's a dump. No, literally, it's a trash area slash. Oh, okay. <laughs> a lot of security there. But, um... I thought it was just Geo, like... Because he was supposed to be a sad boy when the game started, but, like... No, just everyone looks like they're leaning forward slightly? Like, is anyone else seeing this, or am I having, like, eye problems? It seems like every character is kind of hunched over and leaning forward. That Pat's the same way. Wow, it's the park of my dreams! Who breaks into dump? Rita repulse it and your minions? I don't know why you need security there. Yeah, I don't know what the security is about. It looks like I've ruined these sprites for a bunch of people, so congratulations. I'm happy about that. <laughs> oh, look at him, just having a good time. You ruin everything about the games you play, John. What? No, I'm not hurting him. I'm just... We're playing. I'm on the other side. We're gonna seesaw together. Oops, looks like I sent him a little too high. Typhoon dance is good shit. Let's check it out. Damn tryhard seesaws. Geostella used to be a competitive seesaw back in the day. This is where I come to heal my pain. Wow, that's an anime line if I've ever heard one. That's a weird uh, way to describe being dead. <laughs> he moved to the big space station in the sky. I used to be such a fucking sad sack. <laughs> Geo's dad went to get space cigarettes and space milk. <laughs> Imagine wanting to get away from your kid and wife so bad you invent a space program. The worst part is going to be when they reveal his dad's alive, and then we're not going to be able to make this joke for two more games. Geo's dad is still a better dad than Dr. Light. <laughs> I'd launch myself into space, too, if my wife couldn't make the dinner. We did... Oh, anyone who missed, um... 
Uh, anybody who missed the Kingdom Hearts stream, we did discover that, uh, turns out the dinner is mini corn dogs and mac and cheese. We had decided that that's all that Sora eats, so that must be what his mom was calling him down for. <laughs> I should have stopped. Oh, I should have slowed down so we could get a screenshot of "There's so much garbage" because that feels like a good meme template. So I'm not doing donos for this next part, but look in the garbage heaps, there is something important. Alright. I'll take a look. Okay, accidentally triggered a cutscene. Oh my fucking... My parents were so anime and terrible that they literally decided to throw me away. It's as hilariously petty and cartoonishly evil as it is tragic. In the fucking trash! Where you fucking belong! Oh god, this is so comically tryhard. They, two different people at the same time said they could have at least recycled him. <laughs> Pat is recycled content. We have to... Uh, guys, I'm going to have to redraw. Well, see, he's a literal garbage pail kid. I'm gonna have to redo the 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 recycle bin logo, but like put Pat's head sticking out of it. <laughs> Are you shocked? That's the dumbest thing we've ever written. His hair was dyed green by all the garbage. <laughs> well, seeing as the moment is ruined, they heard he was Team Luna. Into the heap. <laughs> Your waifu is shit. Right to the trash. Pat was raised by Garbodors. This guy seems really self-actualized for someone we're going to be fighting in about an hour. His name wasn't ever Patrick. His parents just threw him out with a box set of SpongeBob DVDs. Oh my god, what is this in the garbage? Is this is this an orphaned baby? No, this is Patrick. Pat was a more subtle antagonist. Like, they build him up for so long, even if they weren't always subtle about it, just to basically be like, by the way, he's evil right at the finish line. 
Yeah. This is a problem. We've talked about this before. This is a problem the entire Battle Network series has. It's the next screen, okay. We joke, but this was actually a thing people did in countries to hide unwanted children. Also remember that guy he beat up slash killed that was planned to be his dad. With another cutscene of his mom getting the same treatment. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, no. <laughs> I... It's the same thing when we <laughs> map that. Well, that explains why he was in the fucking garbage. But, uh... <laughs> It's the same thing with Geo being depressed. Like, I think we all understand that in reality, these things would be terrible. But in the context of a Mega Man game on the DS. It comes off pretty, uh, pretty try hard. Even yeah, even the game's punning at me now. Trashed. Oh, that's just like a alarm as alarm. What? What's uh? What's going on with these designs for these trash robots? Yeah, yeah, I'm specifically talking about the heart nipples. <laughs> He returned to the garbage where he belongs. He returned to his family. Hello and welcome to Game Theory. Today in this episode we see his Mega Man Star Forces Pat related to Regal. <laughs> you see both are evil characters with personality shits. Additionally, the trash bots are designed like stereotypical old sanitation workers from the... From the 1800s, the hearts are an actual thing. Huh. Interesting. I'll have to look up a picture of that. I think they installed the heart nipples so they could appear more welcoming to children after finding one so down in the dumps like they did. Yeah, I, I guess they're supposed to be like tongs or something to pick up garbage, but it looks like they just... They got big, like, scissor clippers on their hands. I, I was I was thinking I was asking myself like why why do they have like big shears? What are those for? Big meaty claws. Imagine that scene with the garbage incinerator from the end of Toy Story three, only with Pat there instead of the toys. <laughs> Someone's gonna have to Photoshop that. Best photo I could find is on the Discord for you. Okay, thanks. Check it out in a bit. Um, hey guys, you um, you missed a pixel on this one, fellas. See what's up with dragon form. Oh. Okay. Oh, 
That's cool. I mean, I need to, you know, remember to guard oh, Pat stole that before that's useful. He made a joke but... about how his mom was trash tier. Little did the picture know. Ah, the charge shot is like a big spread thing. Alright. Seems useful. Try pressing the B button when you block an attack. Oh, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to wait till the next one. I didn't see the message till after I already killed them. We still got this, huh? Navi Cuss, Navi yeah, that doesn't seem to be anything like Navi Cuss. People said there's something kind of similar. Animal or time so oh, fun fact in the anime patties of free time. I mean, like, holy frick, this kid is low-key terrifying to the point the animation studio got complaints from parents because he was too scary. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Fastest slow gauge are actually new to DX? I mean, fast gauge, sure, but... I mean, I guess slow gauge... I mean, I have this question about slow gauge in every single game except Battle Network 5. I guess it's for PvP. <laughs> Because uh, uh, fucking liberation missions are the only like in universe, uh, in story use for it. <laughs> okay, so this, too far, can't do it, impossible. This, no prob. <laughs> ah, it's the generic. Oh. Fucking Christ. The Burst family of cards can be absolutely busted when used strategically. <sighs> also, just like my wife, I route her one step out and nothing worked. <laughs> yep, that checks for realism. Come on. You three teleport away and then make me go around and find you. Do it. Fucking do it. This is made by the Battle Network devs. I know you want to. One of you one of you go to each area I've been to so far and make me go find you. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> Okay, I take back what I said about the liar. This is the worst design. This is this is literally two heads on an energy ball. This design sucks. <laughs> oh, that's Gemini Man. Okay. Sure. Don't you mean face to face to face?
Oh, yes, they're just attacking me now. So, Good. Double the head is double the fun. Huh? <laughs> Hush. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't pick furry constellations. <laughs> Oh, well, I was gonna try that. Whatever that ability was you mentioned, I was gonna have to wait. Silly John, you thought it was recycled content, but it was in fact a challenging fight. You can't blame me for th every time I see three heal Mavis, I'm just like, oh fuck. The PTSD's coming back! I can see ACDC Area 3 now. Yeah, no shit. What's he gonna do, bump into you? He doesn't have any limbs. Double headbutt. Well, it's Pat. Just gonna, just gonna throw that out there. Why didn't they just shoot him? Mega Man doesn't have a gun. The game already established this. We needed Harp Note to shoot something for us. Hey, Geo, I'm a unique NPC, and I've been properly introduced now, and we don't know who the villain for this chapter is yet. Rather it be like Tap John, a unique NPC with literally nothing ever done with it. I feel like there have to be more options than these two options. <laughs> Let's go home, but Pat, you are home. <laughs> Did John find the thing in the trash? Uh, people were saying it's on the next screen, which I couldn't get to. There was a, a thing in the way. <laughs> kind of machine sure option three it's glide <laughs> i had a lot of fun today i hung out in the dumpster i almost got killed by some robots good times how do i feel about pat's backstory uh if you could rewind the stream like 15 minutes or so. <laughs> Happy boy Geo throwing himself out there.
This is genuinely the most... <laughs> This is genuinely the most romantic chemistry he's had with any character in this game so far. <sighs> he's getting consent and everything. I'm I'm really <laughs> I'm so happy. Bro 3. 3 for 3 on bros. I have a twin brother. Because Gemini, right? I'm calling it. Fucking rejected, damn. Oh, back to sad boy, Geo. <laughs> Awkward bus ride home. <laughs> Given Pat's design and in light of today's world, this secret could have easily been something else. Also Cheer, 1. <laughs> the return of Cheer 1. Who enforces the brother secret thing? I'm going to be honest, I was kind of wondering that back when they announced that that was one of the mechanics. Hi Geo, welcome home. Dear gosh, why do you smell so bad? <laughs> Shower now. No, don't hop in the bed like that. Tuck my sheets. <laughs> yeah, but I was wondering that myself when they announced it. Like, why can't you just make shit up? You handle being brothers with two of me. Hmm. 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 Two? <laughs> Where's the clip of Axel? <laughs> I'm not wandering in. This is my house. Oh no, that's gonna trigger him. No, oh, he's got like an an edgy alternate personality. That's it, right? According to the art book, your parents should have raised you better. What an oddly specific thing to say. Guess I gotta kill you now. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing personnel, kid. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, that's some edge right there. I'm the Joker, baby. <laughs> I'm glad they just had to create the rudest sanitation worker who ever, who's ever existed to get to facilitate this plot point.
according to the art book. The brother Ben bonds with our soul supposedly so it is literally is updated with said secret it is a part of you essentially and can't be hidden. As such it is something that you can't lie about. Also fun fact in Japan he says something along the lines of where are you? It got ruined by the ad. I was gonna, I had it timed, but then a fucking unskippable ad played on my phone. Fucking hell. I, I can't believe you did it again. Ray Panel! Dun dun dun, Gutsman's ass! <laughs> uh, Reaper apparently had a bit message in there. Let me, uh. Let me go check it out. Come on. Scrolling. According to the art book, the brother band bonds with your soul, supposedly. So it's literally updated with said secret. It's a part that can't be hidden. What? <laughs> um. Ha that's, um, oddly invasive. <laughs> yeah, that seems unethical. The metaverse. So Star Force predicted it. Yeah, Regal really is. Who made that fake game theory? Regal really is the villain again. It's Soulnet. Oh, that's weird. He has... Allow me to explain our tragic backstory to you. I already know it. I was there. <laughs> yes, but the audience wasn't. But, um... Is he... the? F is this the first uh, character portrait that has multiple speaking sprites? I know it's a weird thing to focus on, but... I think it's just the weird angle is making his... Yeah. Yeah, I guess Geo technically I the does. Game theory. Also, reminder, Hikari built the first soul net. And by proxy this. He literally is to blame for all of this. <laughs> reminder, only 10% of the Hikari's inventions work. The rest create world creepy and terrifying things. <laughs> it does seem that way, doesn't it? This is the first time. Like, this isn't even subtext anymore. This is just text. Uh, going to sleep. <laughs> it's killing me. Uh, see ya. Good night. It seems weird for you to write grin when we can see his face. <laughs> Y'all read way too much in this game count in 2006. Uh, yeah, got... We don't actually think they wrote a gay character in a children's game from 2006. It's a joke. More of a wish than a joke. 
<laughs> nah, they're totally gonna kiss on stream. Oh shit, yeah, we're actually going four for three on bros right now. Hot damn. We're doing great. <laughs> It's not gay if the trancers don't touch. I wish... <laughs> I wish I would have thought of that. That could be the stream title. God, Geo's just such a just a happy, positive boy now. Wow, that's weird. The guys, the game is reading my thoughts. <laughs> so fun fact: Trey is not in the anime. Like straight up, there is only Pat, and well, everything messed up that Ray does. Pat just does cause he wants to and finds it fun. Also it is implied he may have killed all of his family and extended family. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, what's happening in the show version of this? Uh, I, I'll check it out one day. We still got I still gotta get to the Battle Network show. I'm uh, sorry, uh I was <laughs> too busy laughing at shit. I missed uh, a hydrate a couple minutes ago. Make up for it with a double. <sighs> that show's impossible to watch. Yeah, no, trust me. I fucking wish that, uh... I wish the Battle Network show was on anything. It's not on any streaming service. You can't buy it. Like, not even in Japanese. Now even John getting thirsty for Pat slash Ray. Like, yeah, there is a, there is technically a way to watch it. I mean, a, a normal, easily accessible, legal way to watch it. That doesn't involve sailing the high seas. Reminding me. Roxas, I don't appreciate these accusations you're making about my completely legitimate Nintendo trademark DS trademark. trying you guys but but uh yeah like we won't we won't talk about it uh, but uh because i don't want to get kicked off twitch but i do think that if there is no longer a legal way to access something you should just be able to do whatever if, if the people who made it aren't making anything off of it anymore, 
and they have no intention of ever doing anything with it, then fuck it, you know? What if we touch Trancers in front of the rover statue? <laughs> You can tell he's an anime character. Because when he has any kind of mental anguish, he clutches his head with both hands and starts violently shaking. He's about to get racist. Oh no, don't bring in the don't bring in that meme. <laughs> Just kidding. Unless I'm not sure this is how DPD works. Or the company just keeping the license so the creators can't make more games. Oh, you could just say Konami. <laughs> How loud were you guys talking? So here's where my issue with this arc comes in. We're having a big no, Pat betrayed me moment here that's being played for drama, even though nothing really happened. This yeah. moment would have stuck the landing more if Ray and Gemini injured Omega's eyes and stole the Andromeda key, but instead... Yeah, I see, I get what you're saying. It's weird that... Hold on, we'll see something. Because obviously what Ray wants is to... Hold on. Let me see if some more stuff going to happen here before I say something. And also hydrate. <laughs> God damn, Geo. Two people for the price of one? What a bargain! Yeah, and, and the FME and attracted to him has multiple faces. Yeah, that's, uh... That's subtle. <laughs> okay, so yeah, here's what I was gonna ask. If Ray's plan was to become brothers with Geo, why did he decide to jump out Evil Boy the second they were about to become brothers? Because he's a dumbass. <laughs> like, he's the evil one. He voluntarily came out. Why did he do that? <laughs> he's evil, not smart. <laughs> His pronouns are Edge and Lord. <laughs> to be fair, what does becoming brothers do to benefit him? I don't know. It seems to be part of his evil plan. Ah. 
Yeah, something about the Andromeda key, I guess. Ray didn't like the fact that Patrick wanted to be brothers with Geo, so him coming out there is much uh, as much to mess with Geo as it is to mess with Pat. I guess. And he thinks he can beat Geo anyway, so I guess it really doesn't matter. I feel like uh, you. There has to be a. Uh, especially because I watch Dragon Ball. Like, people need to understand the difference between bad writing and characters making shitty decisions. Like, a character being stupid is not necessarily bad writing. Like Goku. <laughs> I'd say v most of what Vegeta does is a good example of just a, that's the character's personality. Like people say like Vegeta letting uh, semi-perfect cell go. That's terrible writing. It's like, no, it's not. It's it's consistent writing. Vegeta making a shitty egotistical decision is completely in character, even if it was the worst thing to do. But yeah, then Goku from Super is a lot of, like, bad writing that doesn't make sense. Oh my god, what's up with the arms? So all of Star Force could have been solved by a psychologist. Everyone just needed someone to talk to like most of them. <laughs> Basically, that seems like it. <laughs> Let me guess, you sent those all over the world, right? The arms make more sense when you see the 3D model. All right. I'll take your word on that. We'll see. Why is Pat going along with this? Uh, sad boy. <laughs> what them big hands be doing, though? <laughs> degrees, degrees. Get out of here, Lenny. I can't remember the last time I saw Lenny face. Goku, having a tournament where the entire world, my only son, wife, and friends lives could get annihilated is a great idea. I love fighting. Don't forget, uh, I have two children and don't know what kissing is. I've never kissed my wife before. Everyone's favorite bit of writing in Super. They seem to be fixing Goku and Super. I will say uh, the most recent arc, the Granola arc, is increasing Goku's intelligence back up to be more like Buu Saga Goku. They do seem to have listened, uh, Toyotaro at least, does seem to have kind of listened to that criticism. The gr People are confused by the word the granola arc. Uh, I'm guessing uh, people aren't following the manga. You could say Granola set the bar higher. <laughs> the Granola arc hasn't done anything that pissed me off yet. <laughs> but I felt the same way about the Moro arc until the finale. I thought the Moro arc was good until like the last two or three chapters where it completely fell apart. So Granola could still fuck up. We'll see.
yeah, will go <laughs> will Goku give a Senzu bean to, to the new villain? So fun facts, this game is actually touches on something in Japan. Mental health and psychiatry is extremely poor like people think getting psychiatric help is viewed as weakness and you are less of a person or just being conned by the therapist. Yeah, so for sure. yeah, a lot of problems could be solved. Yeah, I get it. Don't worry, like when I make the review guys, I will be I will be more fair about my haha -ha sad boy criticisms. <laughs> I'm just, I'm playing it up with all you guys because it's fun. <laughs> and we don't want to... It's a stream. We're supposed to be having a good time. How do you feel about Vegeta getting a new transformation? Oh, I'm totally down for clowning on the trash boy. <laughs> time to scrap him. Also, make sure to check Pat's bed. I mean the trash. I mean his cradle. <coughs> Clown on the trash boy. But uh, how do I feel about uh, ultra getting ultra ego and then just immediately like piecing out? I mean, well, it's to be seen. Like, I know the number one rule of, of Dragon Ball is always assume they're shafting Vegeta. But we've still got time for him to do something. I, I don't understand all the people who hate the name Ultra Ego. I think it's perfect. I like it. And it works as a perfect opposite to Ultra Instinct. When has Vegeta ever got a major W? What does that do with his ego, though? That's not what they mean. Uh, it's it's ego in the more like psychological sense. He married Bulma. Is rich has a good marriage. That's a pretty big freaking W. <laughs> oh, I talked to the trash guy? Okay. Yeah, it's not ego like, haha, I'm better than everyone, fuck you. It's a more... It is a little deeper than that. It's, it's weird. Oh, Shovel Man, we got an Abby card, got it. The small trash child beat the shit out of me. It's lit buddy, it's literally right here. You could probably have seen it from where you're standing. <laughs> but uh I would say I'd get even more like I was all in on Moro for the longest time. And even nearing the end, I was still pretty pretty okay on it, but that him giving spoilers I guess for Dragon Ball Super, even though it's an arc that came out like a year ago. Uh, Goku giving Moro a Senzu bean is a completely unacceptable deviation from his character. That's 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 exactly the example of what I'm talking about. That's not writing. That's not like in character writing. That's that's bad writing. That's completely ignoring the way you have written the character to change over time. Remember, Cell? 
yeah, we had the Cell thing. We had Resurrection F, where the entire point of Resurrection F was that Goku needs to stop being so nice to these assholes. Stop letting these evil people do this. That seemed entirely pointless. I don't feel like that needed to be a mini game. Supposedly they changed that to be the same trash guy calls again scared the kids. <laughs> Originally it was another guy looking for the other guy's card cause he went missing. Also a look old tech joke here cause fun fact shovel dozers haven't been updated in tech for like 20 years. Yeah, this area does look pretty old. Speaking of tech that hasn't been updated, oh god. Old school communication terminals. Before transfers, almost everyone had one. And there, guys, there's. <sighs> guys, look at this one. There's only one that looks like this. That's, that's actually kind of sad. And just the one that looks like Mega Man's. Glide is dead. <laughs> Glide is dead, I finally. I'd be sad about this were it not for the fact that pets get updated in every game after BN2. Also, why have these been here for 200 years? <laughs> Did they take parts from them or something? Maybe, I don't know. John is sad at this and not Trash Kid's backstory. Ah, uh, yes. Health from the trash. What could go wrong? I got more sad about the metaphorical death of Battle Network than Pat's entire tragic little thing. My parents threw me away. Uh, Goku giving Cell the Senzu Bean makes sense. He thinks his son is like him. Yeah, 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 for sure. That's, that's again, that, I wouldn't say that's bad writing. That's just, that is in 100% in character. It is a bad decision. It is a very bad decision, but it is in character. But my point is he should have learned a lesson from that and not given Moro a Senzu Bean in Super. <laughs> I don't actually have to, hold on. I don't actually have to fucking go around... And, like, find a way to move these tires, right? Geo, it's, like, five tires. They're not even stacked up. Come on. Why? Why? <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, wait, we got a Met back here. A literal toddler could climb over those tires. <laughs> Fun fact, Geo can't walk over tires. Somebody put it on the wiki. Oh, fuck. Okay, so that hits me wherever I am. I have to guard that. Got it. Geo is too sad to walk over the tires. Yeah, he was betrayed. He's not feeling good. Back to sad boy hour. Oh, good. It counts the rock as an enemy and locks on there. Fantastic. Love it. John. Tires are rubber, we are made of electricity slash waves. <laughs> Tires beat us in rock, paper, scissors. Also, considering the fact that Land's pet is there, I consider this area a radioactive dump, considering Battle Network 2. 
Geo and uh it's, it's like Geo's like this game's about waves, right? <laughs> Buy as much? The evil, the fucking, uh, the invincible Lan Hikari. <laughs> the Chad Lan Hikari <laughs> versus the Virgin Geo Stellar. <laughs> Looks like squares, Mega. They just don't build children like they used to. All right, let's head on in. Oh, this is our dungeon. Okay, wasn't expecting that. Let's see what we're working with this time. Well, I guess we found the dev room for Battle Network 4. <laughs> uh, it's all right. Uh, the theme. Thank you for the follow. I gotta say, the the only uh, the only music that's really stuck with me is like the the like generic town overworld theme, the battle theme, and then uh, shooting star. That's really it. Other music's been good. I, just, I don't know. Those are like the only three. I think it's just because I've heard them so often. John, I want notes for you to bitch about this dungeon. Return them to normal. Bulldozers. Fans got buried under the trash. Of course I can't. Oh, I already don't like this. This isn't even a puzzle. So John, do you like Metal Detective? <laughs> also, let's talk about Pat in the anime. So, John in the anime, Pat is a monster. In fact, he has the highest kill count. Note more than Gio. He is a murder hobo like he straight up kills everyone for kicks. Jesus fucking Christ, what a kid show. Um, how do I... Oh, the radar is working already. Okay, I, that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to figure out what button to use to activate the radar. I thought like it did something else. Oh, so th that those pass over the hole. <laughs> Learned that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's okay, it's a learning experience. Okay, yeah, radar is automatic in DX. All right, all right. That's good.
This seems unnecessary. This I have to leave every few seconds thing. Oh yeah, it's definitely thundering outside. I can just evade them? Okay. Same madman, thanks for re subbing, mate. the other direction too now. Okay. Silly John, you can't trash at the game right now. Like for real, you need to be not so rubbish. Like we've been there done that. Impossible, I'm now afraid. <laughs> Jim Kurosaki thanks for something. Forgetting what button I'm supposed to press here, or am I missing something? Okay, got that on accident. Say the toughest boss so far is. Uh, I think the boss I had the most trouble with was uh, Tom Sus. Mmm. Tastes like fucking garbage. Okay, so I just walk around the general area and, and mash A, I guess until I dig a chow out of the ground. that way the workers after a hard day of work can get drunk or as they would say wasted oh oh i'm in no mood for your shenanigans mr teacher man i'm waist deep in garbage right now Any good.
when I saw the Libra card, because I usually only change my, uh, change John my chip before a boss. Falls. Everyone knows you are not legally allowed to be within 16 meters of a copy of Battle Network 4. I am. I gotta be real with you guys. I am already done with this fucking dungeon. We barely started. This isn't even a puzzle. What? 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 Yeah, that's not... Little did John know his ultimate enemy would in fact be Nijar reused. <laughs> I cannot believe the recycling bin came back around to be plot relevant. <laughs> Yeah, this feels like they had the idea for, oh, tap the touchscreen to activate a radar of some sort. But, like, they stopped there. <laughs> they, they didn't elaborate on the idea any further. <laughs> for whatever reason. And jammers, and, and there's a jammer boss in between each room. Yeah, Capcom came in and said, we need three versions and also make the game faster. <laughs> oh, right, I'm used to having the automatic lock on. You've got to remember I don't have that. Delicious. So can it not uh, heal me beyond the health I came into the battle with? Is that the idea? On the bright side, you can surround the video review and resile bins for this section and you get a picture of how Capcom houses its Mega Man employees. Yeah, my max is 740, but before it looked like it was stuck at 660, even though I was absorbing those shots. I did forget to try the guard cancel again. Sorry about that. You don't need to lock on for every move. Uh, that's that's not an option when I'm using Pegasus. I don't know if you guys like if you thought that was me doing that. That's just it. Just does that.
Yeah, that's DX stuff. Hey, <laughs> John, quit locking on for every attack. The auto lock on was throwing me off pretty bad uh, when I first got it, but I've sort of adjusted to it now. The faster movement speed, though, I really haven't adjusted to. Like, you gotta just, like, barely tap the D-pad, or you go over two squares instead of one. Well, all's well that ends well. That dungeon sucked, but at least we're done now. I'll take a... a friendly hydrate. For a job well done. the whole ass space shuttle. <laughs> oh, I have to go around. It's, uh, this is so arbitrary. Breaker. <laughs> I thought maybe there'd be something over here. Oh, there we go. Blue mystery to. Good night, Curvis. That doesn't seem any closer than the other platform I'm on. If anything, it seems further away, but sure. <laughs> Place that sticks out. Cold. All right. I, that thing was just red a second ago. There we go. There's been like eight of these games. Turn the fucking random encounters off when we're doing puzzles. Battle Network 6 seemed to kind of get it. I 
All right, so press B while I'm guarding. Is that what you said? No smile. Okay, that looks like something just happened when I did that, but the, the camera angle was directly behind me, so I didn't really see anything. I, I can't tell. Oh, it lets you do the, the charge shot right away instead of having to wait for it. Is that what's what's happening here? Oh. Perfect. All right, I just wanted to make sure I was doing it correctly. I wasn't sure if I was just firing charge shots or what was happening. Oh, <laughs> that was still going on, huh? <laughs> and a place that sticks out. Uh, gotta go see ya, uh, Fika Wood. Patch dungeon mechanic is making you relive his tragic backstory. Oh god, you're right. just had it. It's like right here. There we go. spent his childhood trying to get out of the dump to go murder his parents and it took eight years based off this dungeon's length. Card. Um, which of these are going to? I only have uh, energies and these search eye things, which appear to just be uh, lock enemies. Yeah, I assume you're talking about Cloaker, which which I do not have any of.
Are we there yet? According to chat, we're not even halfway done with this part. Is this what they mean by a place that sticks out because it's different? I assume they meant like something that physically sticks out. <laughs> oh, what's up with weed crab over here? Have I seen the trailer for the new live action Fairly Out Bear 3 boot? Is there a trailer? I've seen that image of what looks like a depressed 40 year old man hanging out with Cosmo and Wanda. I don't know what, what, what that is. They mean the literal edges of the map that stick out. Oh, fuck off. God damn. We'll get, we'll get water together. This dungeon is about as fun as actually digging through garbage. <laughs> John, I'm watching your stream on the toilet. Well, it's actually the purpose pl perfect place to watch this stream because this is shit. Battle Network Buster it is. <laughs> When's John's spicy streamer tips? I don't think anyone should be taking streamer tips from me. I've had a few people in chat tell me, uh... You know what would help? A hefty amount of trash puns. Oh god, here he oh, goes. Who am I kidding? This section is a waste of time. This is just a littering of wasted time. Like for real I'm breaking pun character here I am sick of garbage pun dungeon. <laughs> End. Please. I can keep making puns but quite frankly Pat's house tour, like all house tours, are awful. <laughs> but uh, I've had people ask me when I've been streaming like I, I want to stream too. Or whatever like I, I appreciate that you, you value my input and you, you like my streams, but like I am not the person to be asking. I have been doing this for less than a year and every single stream is a gigantic technical nightmare. We're about to finish the second part of the dungeon. We're fighting the jammer right now. His minion actually outlasted him. <sighs> Going to sleep, have fun playing in garbage. See a barium flux. It's just like that when you start streaming. Yeah. It really is. It's like making videos. Like, like people ask me about it. Just you just. 
You really do just have to do it. I know that's the, the least helpful advice you could possibly give to someone who wants to start making content, but really you just, you gotta, you just gotta start doing it. That's the hurdle that it took me forever to get over for making videos and then years more for streaming before I decided to, uh, to just start doing it. How many arcs have you completed? How do you think Star Force 1 is, uh, how has Star Force 1 experience has treated you? Uh, I mean, we're pretty close, we're getting close to the end now, and I would say, uh, the game's alright. And that's not me being like, it actually sucks, but I don't want to say it and make people mad. Like, my, like, 6 out of 10, so far, like, I, I ranted about it in the last video, like, as much as I like the character dynamic stuff, the, the story is very, uh, it feels very low stakes most of the time. Uh, it doesn't really feel like we're building towards anything, and we're almost at the end of the game. They only started really mentioning the Andromeda Key last chapter. You were YMS out along, and I'm giving this one a six to out of ten. The time I am going to talk about the anime cause that is more fun. So fun fact about Luna and Aphisha in the anime: Aphisha actually stops merging with her because her Fang Erling for Mega Man is so powerful that she can't control her except her jealousy of Harp Note that she's. <laughs> awesome. But uh, the, the combat, like I said, the combat's fine. I, I've, I've answered this question a hundred times. And again, I don't mean that in a mean way, but like you guys are just hearing me repeat myself. Uh, I think the combat is fine. I much prefer Battle Network's combat. I think it's more in depth. There's more to it. I like it more. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm sure two and three can do more with it. Like, especially th this game spent... Oh, the real Kevin. Thank you for subbing. But, uh, especially, like, the first two chapters of this game spent so much time building up Geo and, like, the world... Where basically nothing was happening. How about this come compared to Battle Network one? I feel that is as better comparison. Uh, it's be it's better than Battle Network one. Not a huge accomplishment. And I wouldn't even say it's vastly better than Battle Network 1. Like I was saying, uh, I don't... Uh, it, it really is the, the, the combat that drags me down. Like, it's not bad, but it's not what I'm looking for. Like, when you play Battle Network, it feels like all of the enemies feel different when you play Battle Network. Like, you have to approach them in different ways. They all feel like they're different. In When I'm playing Star Force, 90% of all enemies feel identical. Like, oh, I either move left and right. There's not much I can do. My movement doesn't really matter. And if they attack, I use the shield. Like, I'm not really concerned with elements or countering or... Well, wait, which uh, pattern does their attack hit in? Oh no, they're destroying my ground. Stuff like that. Like, that's the kind of stuff I miss from uh, Battle Network. Mega Man videos are the best. I've been watching them all lately while I'm at work. Keep the good work. Well, thank you. I feel, I feel like that's the best way I can I can explain 
why I'm a little underwhelmed with the combat is in, in Battle Network, it feels like every enemy, most of the enemies are different and have to be approached differently. And in this game, it feels like I throw shit at them and then I activate my shield when they attack. The, the if, if the, you had this, but still at least six panels even, I think it would have been better. I think three panels is is not enough. Oh shit, we're bringing in a uh, harp note, I guess. Yeah, it feels like they were like, oh guys, the DS could do 3D. We got to do something with that. Yeah, that, that is absolutely what it feels like. It feels like they probably tried to make Battle Network. Uh, you thank you for resubbing. But, um, like, I have to imagine early on you did have more platforms, but on a DS in 3D, like, behind the back 3D, there, uh, there wasn't really a way to, to get that working perspective-wise, I'm sure. I'm sure there is some kind of technical reason why there's only three panels. Like, they just tested and ended up deciding that worked best. If they let you forward or backwards... Yeah, that's the thing. Like, if I... In the, in the fan fantasy world where I can make one change that I think would help the combat immensely. Like, the easiest thing they could have done that would have changed a whole lot is giving you two rows to work with. Full three, I think, yeah, on a DS especially, the perspective would have been really bad and it would have been hard to see. But I think two rows would have been, would have been good. are going to give me July 2011 flashbacks. <laughs> Sorry. Oh god, there's two sets of them this time. Stars. Electronic gadgets. <laughs> oh, hold on, there's something here. They could have just done Battle Network content with Geo, like in uh, OSS. Yeah, and here's the thing. I think that would have been better. The problem is it's so hard to remember that how oversaturated Mega Man really was at the time. You know? Like, there were six Battle Network games very, very close to each other. And even looking at reviews from the time, it did seem a lot like people were... Like, oh, this is just, just the same thing over and over again. So people were getting sick of it, so I understand why they feel they had to change it drastically. That's why Mega Man went, so, went through so many weird changes and stuff back then. Because, again, it's hard to remember, especially if you were younger at the time. We used to get Mega Man games constantly. Multiple games from multiple sub-series every year. Another fact, so Gemini works interestingly in the anime. When merged with Pat, one of the Geminis is Pat, the other is Gemini, which has many moments of the two having conversations face to face with different reactions. Also, cute fun fact: Hope's Steve. 
Sorry, I was reading this. Uh, Hope Stellar's name was chosen as one of the writers that said their spouse was the hope to help them go through all of life's hard times. How wholesome. <laughs> Killed by a Reaper. I thought it would be a pun. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, it just, it was, and here's the thing, I would agree, in retrospect, that it was absolutely oversaturated. I think if the only of people that you would be appealing to at that point is hardcore fans, because I could imagine people at the time being like, Ugh, fucking Mega Man. They just keep making those fucking things, jeez. Like, kind of how, like, how I kind of, like, and again, this isn't a dunk, but it's kind of how I feel about Monster Hunter. It doesn't get any more puns. It knows what it did. <laughs> but, uh, like, Capcom could be making this, and Capcom could be making this, but they just keep making this instead. Like, imagine that, but that franchise is Mega Man. Yeah, Monster Hunter is where the money's at, absolutely. I get it. But the problem is Capcom has, and, and Capcom has kind of always been like this for most reports. Capcom is one of those companies where if a game does not far exceed their sales expectations, they completely scrap it. There are so many stories of that shit happening. Like if it's not gonna sell at least two million copies, they don't give a shit. Yeah, and their sales expectations are ridiculous. What was what was it with Legends 3? Like they expected the the demo for Legends 3 to be downloaded like 600,000 times on a console that had just released and was infamous at the time for being way too fucking expensive. <laughs> Yeah, and it was a paid demo. It was gonna be a paid demo, and they, they were... It was dumb. Yeah, and then they never actually released it. They backed out. Presumably because they saw how the 3DS was, uh... fucking up in its sales, because it was too expensive when it came out. There, honestly, I grew up in Mega Man Swamp of Material. I remember my Scholastic Book Fair having the mangas and kids' WB books. Also, Square is guilty as well. Games is decent, but not earth shaky. They cancel it. Yeah, and nothing ever meets it. Like, anytime I see. It doesn't matter how popular the game was. Every time I see a Square Enix earning report, it says the game did not meet sales expectations. And it's like, what are your sales expect? What are you? What are your sales expectations? Can you let us know? Because it never, ever, fucking meets it. Like, like they think every game's gonna be COD, and it's gonna sell fucking thirty million units. <laughs> You got NIS over there just pumping out Disgaea's that sell like 50,000 units. <laughs> Did I not? Oh. Uh, see ya, Astro. Good night. Fans do better, and maybe you'll get a third game. I mean, that's just Legends as well. <laughs> Legends was, like, entirely 
it is dis going back, it is disgusting how much Legends 3 not being made was pushed off onto the fan base. As being their fault for not caring enough. One by the telescope. Okay, thanks. We'll see. There, there's a couple companies that are uh, sorting some stuff out lately, uh, like within the last week or so. We've got, uh, for anyone here who plays Siege, uh, Siege has been going downhill for like three years at this point, Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, but they just announced their like big plan for this whole season. Note the world ends with you sold 6 million copies full price on the DS. Jesus Christ. In a budget of half a mil, a profit margin of over 500%. They said the game is a failure and give a sequel that they don't promote and then blame the fans as to its failure when it with a budget. Jesus Christ, I had no idea. <laughs> that series still gets shafted. But, um... Like, Siege is coming back, but for anyone who hadn't seen it... Because I know there's a couple people here who play Siege. <laughs> mentioned it before when I talk about it. Uh, year 7, it, almost literally every single problem I've ever had with Rainbow Six Siege is on the list for uh, what'll be fixed. After uh, I was just talking with Johnny, like, Siege sucks. They're never going to fucking fix it. Ever, all these problems are still going to be here. The rank is still going to suck. It's still going to suck. All the maps are going to suck. There's not going to be any new maps. They're going to do more shitty reworks. But then they... Uh, announced the new season and they're going to be fixing basically every problem I've ever had with the game. So I gotta give them credit, gotta give them credit for that. Uh, we have, I don't know if literally anyone here plays COD other than me, <laughs> but uh, COD, you guys know Activision Blizzard was bought by Microsoft. And people were hoping that, that would make uh, Activision shape the fuck up a little bit. And it just, because uh, with COD, they are constantly pumping out a new COD every year, regardless of how finished the game is. Spoiler alert, the games haven't been finished in like five years. Every one they put out is, is half finished crap. But it was just announced for the first time, there will not be a new Call of Duty game next year. <laughs> they will be delaying it. They'll be pushing back Treyarch's next game for them to actually have time to make a complete video game. So that's super cool. And that also means uh, Modern Warfare 2 this year will probably get two years of support to make up for it. Instead of it having one, like, currently COD games get like nine months of support and then get completely abandoned. <laughs> Yeah, they really needed it, because Van COD Vanguard is, like, half made by Treyarch staff because they needed to push the game out fast. So, like, if the if Treyarch had to make a game in time for it for next year, it would be... It would be a Unity demo. <laughs> it would be nothing. Oh, shit. Pokemon... Yeah, if only... The, the fucking... I think Arceus kind of proves that Game Freak, like, they could do something. People seem to be loving that game. I still haven't played it. But everyone seems like this is a step in the right direction and everything. But the problem is just 
the Pokemon company, you know? They've got anime to sell, they got cards to sell, they've got merch to sell. You know? The, the Pokemon company would never, ever let them delay a game for a year. There's just no way. Yeah, exactly. The Pokemon Company doesn't give a shit about the games. The, the games are their tools to sell merchandise. And it's The purpose of the games is to introduce new Pokemon so they can sell cards and plushies of them. That's all they care about. Alright, we're finally done with this fucking garbage. Boss time. I wish they finally made the games at a loss, but they sell too much for that to ever happen. So on a happier side of game sales, let's talk about God Eater, a game franchise that was revived in the West due to Project X Zone 2, which features Mega Man X and Zero. The game sold well and people asked Bondi for the God Eater franchise back and they said okay, but we need to see... We need to see some sales. We will give a special version of the game of God Eater 1 and 2. It sold 2 million copies, and they've said the series will continue to be in the West forever. Happy end. <laughs> That's good for, uh, I don't know anything about God Eater, but it's good for fans of that. Yeah, I feel like the reason Game Freak fails at everything that isn't a Pokemon game is because they try something once. Okay, so I'm gonna be serious. People may not truly understand Pat's need for revenge, but as someone who saw his mother break down when she found out her entire family knew that her mother's ashes were thrown into the ocean without her consent, and see her break down for years as her entire family... Stops talking to her and distancing something from her. I got angry and furious beyond belief. My therapist said, no joke, my anger would consume me. It did. I, fe I, I lost feeling and everything. Jesus Christ. That's dark. That's dark, man. Jeez. So, um... <laughs> uh, uh, Game Freak's other game. What was I saying? Game Freak's other games. <laughs> Uh, yeah, because they never, like you said, it says they never iterate on them. <laughs> I don't want to have you no game freaks other games, but uh, trying to trying to lighten the mood here. Don't want you to be all, don't want you to be all depressed, Roxas. <laughs> Hope you do better, but uh, they never iterate on anything. So like they did that stupid town game. And that seemed like an interesting idea to start with. Like, if they made a second one and a third one, there'd probably be more to it, and it would actually be it actually be more interesting. But it's not. It's like half the studio has to try to pump out something while they're making Pokemon. 
So it, it's all these like ideas that aren't fleshed out or developed in any way. Thank you for the follow. And I think that's why uh, Arceus is such an interesting thing. Because Arceus feels like they're finally iterating on the idea of Pokemon itself. And actually trying to expand it for the first time. Pokemon Conquest 2? Yeah, Pokemon Conquest is definitely first game syndrome. That probably could have been really, really good with a second one. Unironically, my favorite game freak game is called Teambo the Bad is S Elephant. It Rambo with an elephant. <laughs> It's fun. I remember that game. Yeah, no, for sure. It's fine. I get it. No prob. Alright, what's going on here? There's two of them, only one of them has health. Yeah, I, as I say, I'm fighting Ray, not Pat. That's that's interesting. I like that. I think we can expect more games like uh, Pokemon Legends in the future because, like, they've been very at it. People have been calling it a spinoff, which uh, which I do get. <laughs> Can someone okay that phrase, please? Thank you. Uh, I do get that, but they've they've been very adamant that Legends Arceus is a main Pokemon game. It is a main series title. Fuck, he moved out of the way. And especially seeing the... Uh, the results that they've been getting off Legends Arceus. Do not be surprised if uh, the next Pokemon game takes cues from that, for sure. Yeah, and now they can use Legends as an excuse for like, no, see, people liked it when we did something different, you know? Legends Arceus being what it is, from what I've seen, gives me the impression someone higher up at Pokemon Company or Game Freak or something is is forcing them to make the same template over and over and over again. And Legends Arceus being like kind of a spinoff was like their excuse to try something different. Oh, right, Mega Man. Mega Man is happening. <laughs> Sorry, the bosses are all just kind of underwhelming until you fight their EX versions. <laughs> but I'm just, again, I want to play Legends Arceus. But like just what I've seen, I like the more like action elements of it, like sneaking around and like you actually throwing stuff and all that. I like the idea of the so fun fact now that this is over. In the anime, Pat murders Gemini and becomes the final villain. Jesus Christ! As he stabs him through the chest and laughs as he sees him disintegrate. <laughs> Man, the Star Force anime is insane. Fucking trip. But, um, and then you've also got, like, the, the battle system works completely, di like, like, differently. The idea of the, I forget what it's called, strong and swift or something. Like, just, just little things like that. Like, little things that can add depth to the combat. Strong and agile, right? It's neat to, uh... 
And from what I have heard, it's like the first actually difficult Pokemon game in quite some time, or maybe ever, arguably. Arceus, yeah. Like, apparently you actually have to try in Arceus. Not that I've never minded that. I've always thought there are ways to to challenge yourself in the other ones. That was never a problem with me. But, like, there is actually an, a chance of you, like, losing Pokemon. <laughs> Or dying to something that's not a gym leader. Da, 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 da. Fun stream! Fun stream time! Yeah, back to Mega Man Sad Force, huh? Did you ever watch the scene of Freddy Krueger in the Battle Network anime? No, I haven't. I remember people mentioning it. Remember when they added a hard mode, but it was unlockable at the end of the game and no other Pokemon game had anything like it again? It's so weird that it feels like a lot of Pokemon complaints could just be solved by having a difficulty selector. It's really strange that they don't. It's like to be hated. Mega Evolutions were more of a Kalos thing. Quote, an idiot. <laughs> it is, again, it is, again, that feels like it has to be a higher up that's constantly saying, no, no, every time you introduce a gimmick, it has to be deleted by the next game and replaced with something else. There is no reason Mega Evolutions could not have continued to exist in the Pokemon franchise forever. <laughs> it makes no sense. Hey Geo, I know you're going through a hard time. So I'm leaving because you suck. Also, your dad is still dead. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Pretty sure they got rid of it so they wouldn't deal with art block. Eh, sure. Also because others are mentioning it, yes Pat also genocides every other Fmi and besides Lyra, Omegasus. And Cancer who gets away because another Fmi and his best friends took the hit for him as all the other Fmians decided they liked Earth. One of them even decided to be a pro- 
God damn it. This shit just keeps cutting off. You gotta, you gotta go a little shorter. Uh, just be protector of a small group. Protect your town after he's injured in a fight. He dies when Gemini threatens to shoot her. Note the episode before this is Libra hosting a quiz game show. It has no tonal consistency. I mean, that could just be Star Force in general. What? The current director is an idiot who keeps claiming having good post games or difficulty would mean competing with mobile games for kids' attention. I mean, yeah, that's what I've been saying this whole time. That there's a higher up who keeps making these stupid decisions. <laughs> Oh, Hope. <laughs> Forgot you were a character for a bit there. <laughs> yeah, protagonist fight before the end of the game cliche. <laughs> Higher ups is in the Pokemon company suits. Well, what I mean, the game is forced to release every year. That's That's on the Pokemon company. As far as the actual gameplay decisions, that's you know that's the head director, that's Game Freak. Don't say that the pan couldn't be any slower. I've seen some slow ass pans in Star Force. Oh, it's Luna. Bud, I want to say his name was Bud, and, um, who are you? Why are you in my room? <laughs> Zuko, yeah, I think that was it. Yeah, we got very off topic when the game suddenly decided it was going to be serious again. Ooh, damn. Is there a sign out in front of my room that says, come on in, everyone I hate? Someone please give Gio a hug. Well, that's what best girl's here for. Yeah, this was a this is a dumb move on Mega's part, gotta be honest. To be fair, Gio's mom knows Sonia and Luna, and knows her son is depressed. Also, Zack shut up and leave you make things worse. <laughs> Knowing you, your family probably owns the garbage dump that is Pat's house. Yeah, wait a minute, so why does... 
I, I get yeah, I guess because Luna was fused and she saw him. I was like, why does she know about Mega being like a separate guy? I mean, I guess she could assume it's the same power she had. So I know Geo's supposed to be sad because he was betrayed by someone close to him, but yeah. he wasn't really betrayed, nothing bad or long term really happened, he barely knew Pat, and he decides to push away two people who have actively helped him ever since he met them. This feels Yeah, very melodramatic even if he is a child, I gotta be honest here. Like I know we harp on Jahaha Sad Boy Geo all the time, but like this genuinely seems like a, a huge overreaction. A guy he knew for one, like, two days tops. It's implied Geo's actual secret is that he has a, an alien living in his transer. Ah, okay. Like, I get I get the idea. He's, he's another parallel for Geo, just like Sonya is, but... Is that... Is, I'm thinking now, is that why they went so hard on making it seem like, like Geo and Pat just liked the shit out of each other? To make it seem more believable when he's completely devastated about this person he hung out with like twice who was easily manip who was like openly manipulated into being an asshole like the other five or six fm infected people you've met already i don't I don't know. Yeah, for sure. He gets comfortable. I get the idea. Someone the idea is... Geo got hurt by Ray due to his decision to befriend Pat and he pushed everyone away because of that. Then I would get it. Yeah, for sure. Uh, good night, uh, Gemini. Yeah, like, I get the idea is that Geo finally comes out of his shell and he's making friends, and then one of his friends is is shitty. Like, I, I get it. I, I understand. But, like, Geo knows Pat has a split personality. He knows he was possessed by one of the... by, by Gemini, by one of the FMEans, who have been fucking up every other person he likes. Cheer one, cheer one, cheer one, cheer oh. one, cheer one, cheer one, cheer one, cheer one, cheer one. <laughs> the return of cheer one. <laughs> yeah, considering Luna and Sonya, like, he already went through this with two. I get the idea. I don't know. I don't. I, I'm. I'm trying to properly articulate how I completely understand the idea behind writing it like this. Like a hundred percent, I understand. I just oh, didn't mean to do that. Exactly. Yeah, I'm not saying it's bad writing. I'm saying like it. Ma it makes perfect sense for Geo. I just don't. I think it's a little too much of an overreaction. This is a bro, bro. Not a girl, bro. This is a bro, bro. Not a girl, bro. Y'all know, bro. <laughs> Cause it's a bro this time and not a bra. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we needed more another scene. I feel like that would have fixed it. You say that it's clumsily handled. I think if we had like a day at school of Geo being depressed and thinking about what happened with Pat, then I think I think it would have worked out better. But the fact that we immediately cut from. Pat betrays him 
I hate everyone now. I'm so sad. Like, instantaneously. I think if we would have had so, a little, like a, like I said, like a day at school, and like Pat doesn't show up to school or something. Something like that. That shows Geo like slowly slipping back into the way he used to be. I think it would have, uh, I think it would have worked better if we had a, a, a more slope into Sad Boy Geo. But uh, I, I get what they're going for. I don't know. I'll have more thought out thoughts about this when it's actual review time and I've had time to think about it and like see the story as a whole and everything. Funny enough, the anime handles this better as since Ray doesn't exist, Pat's betrayal and reveal hits Geo way harder since it shows them hanging out and having fun and Ray questioning his decisions before choosing to be evil. Yeah. Fuck. All right, then. Uh, are we good for, uh, are we good for today? It's been about three hours, and I feel like we're going to start a new chapter soon. I need to consult the, the K&I John uh, research expedition to make sure we have enough time. The, they mapped it all out for me. They had they had they had fucking charts and everything. This the point for a cutscene. Okay, we can do that. We can do that first. No, don't. Oh no. Should I have not done this? I mean, I could just stop right now. I could just not press A. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Don't press A. Do it. Just stop. Like... I can just make a save state. On my super ultra legitimate uh, Nintendo DS. <laughs> so let's let's stop for now, because I feel like this is going to be big, and this is going to be the big start to the last chapter. So I just made a save state. Five dollars to do tea. Oh. <sighs> That's tempting. <laughs> you can't just do that. You can't just throw money at me. <laughs> Finish the scene, but don't save so we can see it again next week. Up to know what you are talking about. Oh God, stop! <laughs> okay, okay. So we're gonna watch the scene, and then we'll watch it again at the start of the stream next week. So it's like more complete. Is everyone okay with that? All right. But Geo, we is bros. Oh. 
Oh no. <laughs> I looked up your father. Did you hear he's dead? <laughs> Oh no. Oh God, yep, there it is. I was waiting. I was waiting for the bro counter to shift to zero. What am I fighting for? Back to zero bros, Mega Man Sad Force. Great. <laughs> we did it, baby. Woo. the laugh. If you have any brothers from outside the story, they're maintained, which kinda ruins the effect. <laughs> yeah, it kinda does. That's weird. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Yeah, dream is what I figured. I remember there being less sad in this game. Geo really is a sad sack. Yeah, I was not expecting. I, I've talked about it multiple times. I was not expecting the level of sad that is in this game, especially coming off Battle Network, which had like three or four emotional moments in the entire franchise. <laughs> Most of them in three. <laughs> 